Hello guys and welcome to AJD Gaming. If you like this video please do subscribe as ever and please do like. Uh, now today saw the first reveal of the Assassin's Creed 4 trailer and it's called Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. It looks pretty good. I'm a big fan myself of the Assassin's Creed series so I'm really excited for this one. Um, there was a few leaked details before the actual grand reveal itself so we sort of had an inkling as to what was going to happen. But it's out there now, it's looking good, we've got some screenshots, and there is a trailer, but unfortunately I'm not allowed to show that at the moment. So do flick through, watch the video, and see some of these stunning visuals that we've got in the screenshots, and you should get an inkling of what's about to happen in this game. I do have some information here, so I'm just going to talk over a bit. Uh, the character we play is called Edward Kenway, he's actually the father of Haytham and grandfather of Connor, so this does take place just before Assassin's Creed 3, which which is good. It was a good time period. I was a big fan of Assassin's Creed 3 myself. I didn't like Connor, I'm not going to lie. But apparently Edward is more charismatic and charming and reckless, which is good. So he sounds a bit more Ezio, which I think is a better thing because I thought Connor was a bit boring. So hopefully the mechanics of number 3 exist in this game with maybe a more likeable character. He's already a pirate, so you go straight into the game with this profession behind him already, so he's already an established character, so it's not like Assassin's Creed 3 where you start as a child and you wake up as you get older. And um, it sounds really good being this character, and they've actually got the guys in who made Far Cry 3 to help with the unlockable abilities, so it's something we've never seen before in Assassin's Creed 3, which should be good because character progression is always a great thing to have in games. As I said, it is set around pirates. It's not like Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean, very cheesy, but it should be very dark and gritty, and this should be seen in the gameplay. I mean, it's supposed to be a massive open world. You go around on your ship, you can dive off your boat whenever, swim to the closest islands. Apparently there's only over 50 islands. You've got three major cities again called Havana, Nassau and Kingston. I'm sure these will be similar to the previous game's city, so there'll be, there'll be slight differences between the cities. And then the islands and the sea will probably be what you're used to as the countryside and the frontier that was in Assassin's Creed 3. So there's going to be major exploring and... Being in the Caribbean, they can give you loads of different environments as well. So we're going to be looking at temples, jungles, and the best thing about all this is that there will be no loading time. So once you're going, you'll be able to jump straight off your boat, into the sea, onto an island, look around, hop onto the next island, and you won't have to wait for any loading screens, which is great. Um, obviously, the naval warfare that we saw in Assassin's Creed 3 will make a return, and it's going to be improved on a lot. You'll be able to spot ships from afar and tag them. Again, the guys from Far Cry have obviously had quite a bit of input here because that's what you do a lot in Far Cry and the Crisis series. So you'll be able to tag ships and then you can sort of work out what your plan is going to be to take down these ships. So whether you go for naval combat or whether you are going to, as Edward, jump on a ship, try and take on the whole fleet. It's going to be quite interesting. Um, I quite enjoyed the naval fleet myself in Assassin's Creed 3, so hopefully this will go quite well. Um, that's pretty much all the details we've got. The, another detail is that Desmond is gone. His saga is over. This is now known as the Kenway saga. So the story in the future, whether there will be any gameplay in the future, I'm not sure. But you're playing the game as though you are working for Abstergo. So... That's a slight twist. I'm, it's not a disappointment because Desmond wasn't really utilised to the best in my opinion. So it's a way to get past that whilst continuing this fantastic series. And obviously Platforms is going to be release, released on all the normal platforms. So you've got your PS3, 360, Wii U, PS, PS4 and other next-gen consoles. So I'm guessing the Xbox 720, whatever you want to call it will also be included which is obviously we're looking at a holiday 2013 release schedule so cheers guys thanks for listening hope this gives you the information you need do subscribe to my channel for more news videos and achievement guides and i'll speak to you soon guys thank you